It's Wednesday. You know what time it is. Welcome in to What the Truck Wednesday. I almost said Friday. Feels like a Friday. God, it does. It's been, a, it's been a long three days here at the headquarters of Nissan Parts CC. I'm Russell. This is Tom. What's up, everybody? Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Today, we're going to talk about the D40 Frontier and the N50 Xterra for the most part. But some of these pieces cross over into the WD22 Pathfinder, D22 Frontier. Um, axle shafts. Yes. So... One of the things that I think catches a lot of people off guard, especially the people with the Pro 4X and off-road edition Frontiers, if you have axle issues on the rear end, you have to replace the whole axle shaft on that truck. Now, that goes for if you have a leaky axle seal, mm -hmm. you got to replace the whole axle shaft. Right. So, and be prepared. Yeah, we don't know why Nissan made it that way, but they did. Um, now, there's people yelling at the screen right now saying, that's BS, man, you don't have to do that. Well, unfortunately you do. We don't know otherwise. Right. But um, it is a loaded axle. It comes with everything on it. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some reasons that axles can go bad? Well, I mean, the, the on this particular axle or any axle? A any, any solid axle. Any solid axle, you're doing sweet jumps. Yeah, you're doing jumps. Uh, lack of maintenance. Yeah. Um, hitting curbs. Yeah. You get in an accident, that's an obvious one, kind of no-brainer. Um, potholes. Here's one that I wasn't aware of, overloading your vehicle's mm. weight capacity. Yeah, yeah. Um, another one is called shock loading. I have to look this up, I didn't know what it was. That is when you're burning out from stoplights. Oh, um, yeah. You're wheeling, you're stuck in the mud and you just floor it. Uh, or your rock crawling, mm -hmm. or general 4x4, four four, if you come up to a big bolt, well, not a big boulder, but a decent sized boulder where you got to get on the gas pedal a bit, that's shock loading and that can damage your axle. That's the reason you guys are going to need to replace your axles. Right. Burnouts at stoplights. I mean, that's probably the most common one. Yeah. I think, I, I went through, I actually looked at service history on these in our system just to see. I was like, you know, I wonder what is the most common reason why people are coming in and getting, you know, the complete axle replaced or just rebuilding a non pro 4x axle because you can rebuild those um and it's leaks right leaks that's the like every one of them i looked at it was because it was leaking it was leaking and if and and, and if you have a non pro 4x non off-road truck and you're replacing that rear axle seal nine times out of ten you need to go ahead and do the bearing and sleeve and everything which um we've got the the spacer here mm -hmm. um and then the seal, which the seal is nasty. What's that smell like? It's all lubed up. Rear end. Ugh. It actually doesn't smell that bad. If, you, a whiff. if you've been around cars for a while, you know that one's not that bad. Yeah, that one doesn't smell bad at all. <laughs> you go back to the 80s and 70s and when they, you're they in trouble. Whale blubber. Yeah. Um, so typically axles, they don't have an expiration date. I mean, they can last indefinitely with proper care. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I've seen online where people have said, oh, you can get 100,000 miles. I think you can get more than that out of it with Why not? proper maintenance, right? Yeah. Um, but seals, they are the weak spot, um, especially if you're going four wheel and if you go in deep water and you take water into your rear axle, right? that water's going to get in there. It's going to have to get pushed out somewhere and it's going to look for the easiest place to escape. And that can push. While you're on that, yeah. Replace your breather. <laughs> yeah. Because that'll cause your seal to leak too. A lot mm -hmm. of times people were coming in, getting the seals replaced, getting the axles rebuilt, and they were putting a new breather on there too. Right. Because lo and behold, clogged. And yeah. that all falls under the maintenance part, taking care of it, checking all that stuff when you're, you know, changing out the oil and things like that. Right. And I did mean to bring in some bottles of diff oil. I did forgot too. to do that. <laughs> um, now, it, I think it's. I've always been of the mindset that it's critical that you put the correct oil in there. Yeah. If you can get OEM stuff, get OEM stuff. And you can. So why would you use anything else? Don't go on forums like Bob the Oil Guy because you'll get 100 answers. 50 yeah. of them will say use OEM stuff. 50 of them will say you can use whatever you want, buy the cheapest stuff. If you want to do that, that's fine. 
but you're the one that's gonna have to be. You know our web address and you know, we'll give you all the part numbers. They're gonna pop up on the screen with the parts. So when you do that, we'll be here for you. Yeah. Uh, now, one of the things that we have here, um, we don't get a chance to talk a lot about Value Advantage Nissan parts. We have, we stock the OEM bearing for the rear and the Value Advantage bearing. Now, the big thing on the OEM bearing that, I mean, obviously they're the same thing physically, right? but wh what's the big thing that you take? I know you're gonna notice this right out the gate. Yeah, I already looked. Yeah. Made in the USA. Made in the USA. Yeah. Now, what does the other one say on it? Made in China. Right. right. So for the, the OEM MSRP is 144, the value advantage version, which is made to be a cheaper, more affordable, you know, um, option, one nineteen fifty eight. I'm going to go spring for the OEM. Yeah, an extra twenty seven all day, every day. Now these both do have a twelve month, twelve thousand mile warranty on them. They carry the same warranty, nothing different there. Um, but for twenty bucks a side, I'm going to spring for the higher quality yeah. product that came on my truck that lasted forever. Yeah, this OEM one is made by Timken in the USA. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. And the other. Let's see if there's any stampings on the. One made in China. It's funny because the it, only thing it has stamped on it is the part number is all I could find. There's no, because I wanted to see too, what's the manufacturer of the bearing, um, which obviously that's going to be the piece that's going to fail. Um, right. So, I mean, if you're on a budget. Yeah. I mean, 40 yeah. bucks, 40 bucks. But, yeah. but still. If you, you still got the same warranty, but if, I don't know. I mean, if you can get the um, original stuff, why would you do anything different? Yeah. Unless you're on a really tight budget, and that's yeah. understandable. So, next time you're working on your truck, doing tire rotation, oil change, take a look at your rear axles. Um, another thing that can happen with the rear axles leaking is you can damage your um, rear brakes. Right. Because that oil will get on your rear brakes and you'll have to replace them. So, it can turn into a pretty hefty job, mm -hmm. you know, dollar wise. Um, for you guys that, that have the uh, standard trucks and can rebuild, you know, like I said, we stock all this stuff. I went and we pulled this stuff off the shelf yesterday. This is all stuff we have ready to go. So if you in need, um, maybe you just want to take your stuff apart and replace the seals now. But you're going to need a seal and you're going to need one of these at least. Maybe a bearing and some tools. Yeah. A couple drinks. So there you have it. Yeah. That's our What the Truck Wednesday video. N50 D41, no, N50 D40, mm -hmm. D41, get out of here, D40. Have you looked at the rear axles on the D41 yet? No. Should I? I'm just wondering if they're the same way, if they sell them the same way, where you can buy a blank I'm or just, a... I'm sh uh, I don't know if to look, I don't want to say, be wrong. Bye. <laughs> Come back on Friday <laughs> for more excitement. <laughs> Yes. And uh, we got some good stuff coming up. We need to talk about those S15 blinkers. Um, so yeah, if you like Nissan cars, Russell just picked up a new Nissan. Ooh. New for him. New for me. I'm just gonna say S-E-R and leave it at that. Yeah. I'm sure there's gonna be some awesome reels coming up. Oh, there are gonna be. I actually have one on my 490 to post it. It'll be posted by the time the video comes up. Cool. Bye. See you in a bit. <laughs>